As leaders of SMART, you focus on important issues every day on jobs, safety, training and technology, on your community, legislation, and empowering the SMART workforce. You are leaders who are member-driven, committed to progress, shaping the industries you serve, and tackling challenges head-on. You are SMART and your leadership is making a difference all across North America. Being there for others in need, helping communities thrive, it's what Smart Army is all about. Strengthening bonds, enriching communities, making a difference when it matters most. It's great for the community, but lets people know we're part of the community. You know, we live here, you know, we have kids here. We want to get back to making sure that we work with our communities, that when we're out there working on that baseball field, or we're out there doing that Habitat for Humanity, or we're out there building a home for a veteran, that people know that this is who we are, this is what we do. Let's be proud of who we are, and whether it's you know, taking the time to listen to somebody's story, or whether it's taking time to donate to somebody's charity, or, or just taking the time overall just to say, hey, we're here, and just, let us in and we'll show you what, uh, what, uh, what family's about. I was a licensed cosmetologist, so I did that out of my house, but I also was a painter. There was no benefits, nothing for my future. I wasn't building up to anything. So it took for me to get my 30s before I got smart and like, I need a career. That's why we're here, to open that door to young girls to know that there is another option out there besides what is traditionally um, advertised for young girls to do. We've gotten feedback from the one that maternity leave has happened in different parts of the country. It's a conversation that we didn't have in the past. The more we talk about it, I think, the more it opens our eyes to things that we couldn't even see before. And the maternity benefit is, uh, it was a no-brainer. It was easy, it was the right thing to do. I was scared even finding out I was pregnant, scared that I wasn't gonna be able to work or, you know, nobody was gonna hire me, this or that, and it, it wasn't that at all. I think it's, hopefully, will push a lot of women to know, you know, that there's room for them too. <laughs> Attracting and retaining women in the trade and encouraging their leadership. It's happening now, and it's the future of SMART women are going to be leaders, they are leaders, this is, this is already happening, so it's just going to be more so in the future, especially with support, you're going to have a lot more variety of people to choose from with a lot more experience to add to what a union looks like and how we're going to be able to take this into the future. Training and technology, it's at the heart of skilled craftsmanship and ensures that the best, most expertly trained professionals are entering the sheet metal trade year after year. It's your local at work, training for tomorrow, focused on the future. Being able to understand the technology and using the technology, it makes you more efficient, which makes you more competitive. And that's the idea, make us more competitive so that you know, we end up with the jobs. The future's now, it's today. So we have things like 3D laser scanning and, and Trimble, um, it's just so much, and, and even with welding, uh, we're, we're the tip of the spear as far as training. There's going to be a massive shift in training in every facility, in every industry, as technology changes. And we need to continue to be aware of that. We need to continue to try to identify that. And how do we plan and prepare for that in the future? Smart Capital is a unique financial opportunity for contractors who want to grow and expand their business and market share. Smart Capital is, is an organizing tool. So our, our organizing or business development or marketing, however you want to call it, um, it, it's all of those things. But it's definitely something that takes a lot of serious consideration because it does, you, you, you are looking at um, utilizing the finances of your local union in, in ways that you haven't done before or looked at before. It can work to your advantage and it can work in, in areas that are highly uh, non-unionized but have a lot of potential. New work, more jobs. Sheet metal workers building for the transportation industry. It's happening today, coast to coast. When we first got word CRRC was, might be coming here, there's gonna be a train facility here. 
How can we get in there? What can we do to, to get these people to the table? What can we use to sell, you know, sell ourselves and, and, and not only build a building, but to get in the building? And when they saw what we could do together as an international and as a local, I believe that's what made them sign the contract. Jobs, jobs, and more jobs. The CRRC contract is so massive in size, scope, and scale that sheet metal workers will be busy in Massachusetts building rail cars well into the next decade. Bring in a lot more employees. They're, when I first started, they were talking about having about 300 people work here, and that's having multiple shifts, and everyone's constantly working to keep this place going. It's, a, it's a definitely an exciting time for, for our union and our city. New jobs through organizing. It's hard work, but the rewards are abundant. Recently, hundreds of employees were welcomed into the union at BYD, another smart organizing success. It was a long, long battle. Uh, it was day and nights, it was weekends, but we were very persistent in what we wanted. We kept, you know, we kept them fighting. We started thinking outside the box on other industries to organize. This was just one industry that uh, was within our wheelhouse. And so we had uh, an opportunity to uh, represent these workers and we're doing so now. It was honestly just securing, you know, our jobs. It was giving us new opportunities. It just opened up a whole lot of new doors for us, you know, that we wanted to see. You know, it's something that we're really looking at for the future, getting into different markets, trying to figure out how and what to do and where to go. The electric bus, I think, is the future of the U.S. The other unique part of this is we're building the buses here today. And as those buses go to LA, LA will have smart members operating those buses. We think our infrastructure is good for this type of arrangement. Build the bus and then operate the bus. I, I do believe it is the future. Times are changing, they're changing fast, and uh, I'm glad to be a part of it. Revitalizing an industry and implementing outside-the-box training to fulfill new work. That's smart. And that's what's happening with the new cracker plant in Pittsburgh. We made a deal that, you know, you award us this work, we are going to train our members. So we kind of jumped forward on uh, what they call the strike force training, and uh, we got it rolling. We're doing a lot more training on building structures like we have out in the uh, yard out, in, out below. And we try to do more mock-ups and stuff like that to kind of give the guys some real-world experience on how they how they would put it in on a job site. It's, it's something we've never seen before, this, this size job, this magnitude. By, by June, there's going to be 7,000 workers down there. It's, and they're talking about building a couple more. So it's, the gas is here, and they're going to take advantage of it. Politics, it impacts every aspect of our lives, and it's just one of the many reasons why getting involved and getting out the vote is so important, especially when the candidate is one of ours. There's an old expression that if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. And I think it's important for not only our union, but all unions to be active politically. And now, with us being merged with the sheet metal workers, even more so, you know, we could dovetail our efforts and actually, you know, bring more uh, pressure to bear on legislators to have a worker-friendly uh, agenda. New Mexico became the first state to have its governor sign a statewide fire life safety bill, joining several cities across the U.S. who've passed similar measures. At fire life safety, it's the uh, inspection of smoke and fire dampers and stairway pressurization. All commercial buildings or multi-story buildings have these in place, but construction industries or licensing and regs, the state inspectors do not inspect all of that. And what we look at it, it's a public safety issue. We're the first ones that have passed statewide legislature on this. It's actually gonna hold non-union contractors accountable to installing those fire and smoke dampers correctly. And if they don't, well, guess who gets to go and inspect them? <laughs> Local 49 members and contractors. With us on the front line, we don't know what, who has mental issues. We don't know who's having a bad day, who's ready to just snap. 
who's in, you can't tell. A young lady got on a bus and she said, please get me out here. She said, I was just on the number 13 bus and the guy robbed the whole bus. Like this is the type of stuff that we have to deal with. We've seen attacks, uh, unprovoked attacks, verbally and physically trending up with our female operators. And so um, that's a concern. We've, we've had assaults out there. I've heard about them. I never actually imagined that it was gonna happen to myself. I got on the radio and I yelled, she has a knife. And I said 7285 because that was my train. She has a knife, she has a knife. You just don't know what you're gonna get from the first person who steps on the bus to the last person who steps on the bus ending your shift. You just don't know. H.R. 1139 is a bill in Congress that would protect smart operators and keep communities safe. That's what we think about. You want everybody to be safe. In Colorado, transportation workers and community residents continue to push for legislation that mandates all freight trains be operated by a two-person crew. The advantage of two-person crew is really what, it, what we're looking at is about safety. We did a survey uh, with the citizens of Colorado before we introduced this legislation. It found 72% of Colorado voters wanted two people on trains traveling through their community. Um, and that's what kind of was a driver as we moved this legislation forward. It was a, not just an organization-based process, but we got community involvement. I heard a lot of commotion outside, sirens and stuff. I hear the sirens stop right in front of my house. And I go out there and he's talking to the neighbor. It's the Bellevue PD. And uh, he says, oh, nobody told you either? It's a mandatory evacuation. Our house had water in it for 35, About 35 days. 35 days and uh, it's gutted to the ceiling. We had 10 members that were affected. Um, some of it was basement flooding all the way up to water up to their roof. Each disaster delivers its own devastating blow, but SMART members are never alone. Through SMART's Disaster Relief Fund, Union Brothers and Sisters, you are there, delivering comfort, peace, and hope through fund contributions. It was like a week later after you filled out the paperwork yeah, that you had I a mean, check and that was just that was amazing to me, you know, because like, okay, you know, it's a, somebody cares. If it wasn't for that, man, I'd, I don't know what I would have done, you know. Nobody plans on this. The only help I got was from the, the union. That's what it's about, you know, to, to, be, to belong to the union. They, 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 have your, they have your back in many ways. You know, it's not just about your job, it's about, they care. Working for legislation, investing in training and technology, creating opportunities, engaging communities. That's who we are. Better together. That's smart at work. And as we journey forward, we renew our commitment, a pledge to the future, to growth, opportunities, and relationships. Full steam ahead. Proud, determined, strong. United in smart. Focused on the future.